What's up and welcome to the Indie Credibles Not So Indie Show. It's a monthly show that we do that is available to our patrons for one week early, or is available one week early. Uh, audio versions will cost you one dollar to get a week early access. Video versions will get you will cost you three dollars to get a week early access. I struggle to get my words out then. Uh, but it is available everywhere else on SoundCloud, on iTunes, on Player FM, on YouTube. A week after patrons get it, so that'll be around about the end of the month for everyone else. But yeah, the Not So Indie Show. Tom, what's the Not So Indie Show? The Not So Indie Show is a show where we can talk about anything that isn't an indie game. <laughs> Although we do normally talk about indie yeah, games. Yeah, it well. gives us a chance to, uh, to digress <laughs> yeah. a bit more about stuff that we, <laughs> that want we to talk didn't about. digress yeah. about in the other one. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I thought this week was like the Indie Credible Show, another yeah. podcast that we do. Um, or Our main podcast. podcast. Your indie Credible the Podcast, podcast. the weekly podcast, podcast yeah, we do. Yeah. I thought it was quite on point this week. We didn't really digress much. We did, 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 did. Okay. That's a good point. Yeah, we didn't be like, talk about Destiny for half an hour. I, I am or... very tired. Yeah. So that probably and, helps. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it just seemed like you were just putting that in there for no reason. I just, no, no, I, I am was just very thinking, tired. I was just thinking, why did we digress? Just because my mind cannot have can't it. physically do it. <laughs> it's like... And although I would love to, but no. Although this is a different show to the Indie Credible podcast, uh, we still kind of same follow the same format. And we always start off with what we've been playing, but although, because this is the not so indie show, about everything we've we can talk about what we played, what we read, what we beat off over. Read. <laughs> what we, uh, <laughs> reading. Yeah. What we, what we listen to, anything. It could be anything. Who wants to fire away? To Who wants to start off with something they've watched, they read? Okay, they... I'm going to start with something I've read. Oh, yeah! Crazy in your son face, of a bitch. <laughs> I've read Critical Fail, which okay. is if you can imagine, like a D twenty. Yeah, sorry, um, uh, D and D. It's D1. a D. Well, yeah, it's a D and D book. D one. But two one. D one. Two one. D one. You can't even have a D one. D one. D one. You just, can't physically comprehend on this physical plane. <laughs> a D. That's a, that's a, that's a D two <laughs> still. You can't. Well, no, no. A D two. You could turn it over. This one is literally. Yeah. You can't. It's, it's, it's concrete. On, it's, yeah. the, <laughs> it's a piece of chalk writing on the floor. It's a one. What did you roll? <laughs> Nothing. You got oh, one. Got one. <laughs> <laughs> go on then, go on. Uh, critical uh, fail. Criti- I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. My mind has now just had an utter brain fart. What is oh, it? It is a book about. Do you remember the old. You won't. I might. Give me a chance. Okay, there's an old kids' cartoon called Dungeons and Dragons about a group of kids who go on a fairground ride and it takes them into the world of Dungeons and Dragons. Absolutely. And remember it's all that. very. Oh, it's very cute. That. And there was Part a little. I don't remember. Oh, uh, <laughs> Unis there. Yeah. And it was very nice and there was a dungeon master which is used in everything now they always talk about him show you go onto twitter anyone who talk, calls themselves a dungeon master will at some point use the dungeon master from dungeons and dragons to show them okay well this is the story of what would happen if you had us three end up into the dungeons and dragons world and it's oh, okay. just full of swearing abuse sexual innuendo <laughs> crap talk and i've got to say it's not very well written but I pissed myself laughing like four or five times during it because I'm just like, yeah, that character's Lewis. That one's Tom. <laughs> and yeah, that's me. Critical Role. Critical Fail. Critical, critical fail. Role is a, is a, is a whole podcast. series with yeah. Matt yeah. Mercer and a whole load of other... So Critical Fail. And wh- where is it available? Anywhere? You Anywhere. You just go on, get your Kindle one. You get it for yeah. free if you're your on Am- uh, Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously doubt it. I'll be in a war stone. I can see it being in a war No, no, no. I mean, no. this is seriously written by some bloke at home who's like, you know what would be funny? All right. If I write a story about me and my mates playing a game. It's not even called Dungeons and Dragons because yeah, he, he's watching out for so copyright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you just sit there going, so yeah, it's on Amazon basically. Is where there's, you get a, it. there's one character who shits himself all the time, <laughs> <laughs> literally shits himself and flops everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's hilarious. And they get sent into this world. Basically, they employ a dungeon master to come and help them with the game because they're like, yeah, go on, let's give it a go. Yeah, yeah fucking laugh. Get this guy in. They abuse him chronically when he first comes in. They're like, yeah, fuck off, cape boy. You ain't a bad <laughs> sex. That sort of shit. And then he uses his magical powers to send him in the world. It's hilarious. Oh, if you're into Dungeons and Dragons, but you're also fed up with the whole... Oh yeah, let's magical fantasy land. Let's and fantasy land. Amazing quest. Let's see what that. would happen if a bunch of normal Real people, people yeah. went in <laughs> okay. there and just fucked it up. That's like very it. cool. Critical fail. Yeah. Cool. I'm pretty sure it's called critical fail. I should have really looked that up, but fuck it, I won't bother. I'm around you. I quite like it. Little yeah, hug. I, was like, <laughs> I, was, I originally so was stretching. You know why? Up. I was originally stretching my back out, and then I was like, "Because <laughs> he's missing Kev." <laughs> Little love yeah. heart shows up here. Oh, <laughs> you're just doing that for uh, him to do extra work. 
Whoa! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Little Brian. Was that a Brian? That was a Brian. <laughs> a Trev! <laughs> Not gonna happen. Um, oh, I know. Oh, come on. One day we'll hire an editor and he'll be a nice guy. And he'll yeah, do and he will ask. do the whole lot. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, he can do. It's Bro, fine. When, yeah, when we can afford that. You yeah. Know, at some point when we're actually paid on, for doing yeah. If I was editing, I would do it every time. <laughs> Brilliant, but you don't have about a million other videos to edit. <laughs> Well, we'll do um, his yeah. <laughs> uh, anything else you watched, played, read, beat off over? Beat off over? Well, be here all bloody week. Well, be well, yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> a massive list. I mean, I woke up and the bird was singing. I was like, yeah, oh, Paulie, why not? Let's go. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I put that one in. <laughs> yeah. Open up a... Uh, well, so yeah, board games, man. Board games, Like, yeah. today I got sent a massive mm. fucking box. I saw on box. Twitter, yeah. By uh, the Plastic Soldier Company, who shockingly enough do plastic shoulder yeah, soldiers. Did you not? What? Yeah. <laughs> how, long, sent me... how long do you reckon it took him to think of that name? What do we call ourselves? You know what? I reckon, like it, was, I reckon it was one of those ones that actually took quite a while. I bet they went through. Because I bet they went through names. really cool ones yeah. and then were like, let's look it up online. Oh shit. You know, like you did with Indie Credible and then added an extra I to I make know, sure yeah. you could use it because someone else had yeah. it. But... You know, it's, I reckon they did that a lot to it. But yeah, they sent me a massive box that weighed a fucking ton. It looked pretty hefty. Yeah. Well, I was, you know, they were good. They said they'd send me some games. I helped them out with a Kickstarter project that went, that they weren't hitting their target. They had yeah. a few days left. They got in touch with me and went, look, is there any chance you could help? And I thought, that's hilarious. They're asking me to help. <laughs> I don't know a fucking thing. Desperate so, times. Desperate times. <laughs> course, let's get in touch with the bear. <laughs> and, uh, so I, I did everything I could. I promoted it on Twitter. I did all of that. And they hit their target. And oh, I was like, excellent. yes, nailed it. Um, so they sent me some of their board games as a sort of thank you, but also to get the word out yeah. there about them. And I was expecting, you know, maybe a card game. Yeah. something small mm. and then this fucking huge box came through the post and the guy his face when he handed it to me was a look of you dick I just have to carry this from the van to here <laughs> this is fucking heavy I took it off him thinking you know sometimes you get boxes through the post and it's mainly stuffing yes, you know you either yeah. get those polystyrene blocks or those bags of air to yeah, be the same. it's like this big the like, box is this big yeah exactly like packing peanuts and stuff I was like, like there's going to be one thing in here picked it up I was like fuck me yeah. this is really heavy <laughs> Got upstairs. There's only three board games in them, but, but shit, it's, they're beefy. Yeah, they yeah. are fully packed. So nice. yeah, yeah, I've been playing. Well, we, those. we only play some of them, don't we? Too. Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh yeah, our board game night miserably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lewis. It's my fault. It is Lewis completely is my fault. fault. Looking forward to it all day. Take full yeah. responsibility for it. I set it all up. I got pizzas in. I had beers. Did there, you really? Ready. Yeah. Oh, Oh. I had a fucking awesome evening. I wish you could have drove. I was on my, I wouldn't drive, I was drinking. I know, but I'm saying no, but that driven me to your house. <laughs> because, yeah, I was... If yeah. I had my motorbike still, I would have picked you up. It's a good thing I texted you, because I didn't actually get his text saying that it wasn't happening. Really? Yeah, and your phone like, is a nightmare. Like half four. I, it's only you, though. It's only get this you. I, <laughs> I, I texted him, and I, I was like, so are you gonna, when are you going to pick me up? And I was like, you pick me up from my house instead of uh, work, so I pick some stuff up. And he was all like, oh, no, it's not happening now. And I was like, oh... Fuck. My cool. fault. My cool. fault. Yeah, no, um, I set it all up. Beers, pizza, the whole thing. God. I'd even set up Dread. I got little candles ready for us to do the whole oh, thing. I was going to light God. down. Jenga Tower in the middle. Horror game. Oh, let's, let's hope that we can uh, redo this and have that again. Yeah. happen again sometime. Yeah. Uh, Keep your stock if you can. Who wants to Do you want to talk about what you've been playing watching next? Uh, if you want, yeah. I've got go on, yeah, go for it. What you, what you played, watched, done. Been on a bit of a weird, uh, unplanned Pixar bender. Okay. Oh, really? I, I don't know why, but we ended up watching Toy Story 1, 2 and The Incredibles um, from the last week, in all this week. Oh, we nice. Those films. Um, I was, uh, we were drinking, we watched the first two, well, when we watched, when we watched Toy Story, I was, we were drinking, we did a drinking game as we played it. Yeah. Me and M. And it was, uh, just making me love it more. What, drinking game <laughs> well, no, Just because I was drunk <laughs> and I love Toy Story. Yeah. Really. Well, what, what Toy Story did you watch? The well, one. the best one. Uh, um, Big differ. But it's it's good. It's the, the the standing order is one three two. Everyone knows that. Two, would, two is incredible. Two is the best. But but it's not the best one. I would say two. I'd go two one three. I think three. I think I'd go two one three as well. I disagree. But yeah, well that's why we know you're wrong. But anyway, carry on. <laughs> See, you don't you don't get it. You don't get it. Okay? You don't, you don't, just carry on talking. You don't get it, right? <laughs> um, but. 
But yeah, I, I, was, I was drunk, um, as I really, already love it, and I was drunk, and I was being, and the whole time I was like, this is the best film <laughs> in the world. I was watching it, and I was just having an amazing time, because it's just like, everything that was good about it, I was like, that's so good! I was like, <laughs> looking at it, I was like, this film is incredible, it's just the best film ever! It was great, and uh, yeah. Twist- How was she about this whole thing? She was, she was filming me a lot for a lot of it. She filmed me a few times, just like getting really excited about <laughs> random shit happening in Toy Story. And there's obviously like whenever I get like get annoyed about something in the sh- like, for example, uh, there's a pair of binoculars. I forgot his name. Yeah, yeah. He can talk in the film, but he's in a mouth. And that wound you up. It's th- as a child, it wound me up because I never. It took me years to realize he was the one talking. Because oh, there are bits where he talks, yeah, and he's not, he's the only toy that doesn't have a mouth that can talk. And that the, the fact that these toys came to life. Well, no, but they made, and the be- for your own have- rules, damn it, Mister Spell can't talk. Well, yes, he, he can. He can kind of talk. He can be like he, he can, speaks and he spells. He can be like owls, toy barn, and that's it. That's speaking. Yeah, that but that makes sense for Mister Spell because Mister Spell has a, has a voice chip in him. A pair of binoculars. Why can he? Why can he talk? Oh God, Woody! Oh no, Woody does have a mouth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have a, all the ones who can talk have a mouth. Isn't there a Slinky? Yeah, is there a slinky? yeah, yeah, but it's a Slinky, slinky dog. Dog. Oh, it's dog, dog, dog. dog. There's a, there's a shot in particular that I never understood as a kid. It's when they first see Sid uh, blowing up the combat car. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh. They're like, where? It's probably I can't remember his name. The the block is named Woody's. Like, where's so and so? And he's like, right here, Woody. But he hasn't got a mouth. So, so just it's a shot of binoculars walking towards him, and it's just some random god voice <laughs> so saying, "Right here, Woody." It's like, what? Who? who? Shut up. <laughs> that, that's the wife. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that does bug me in Toy Story. I also watched The Incredibles, and that that was great. Yeah, Incredibles is great. Incredibles is such a good. Well, we talk about yeah. Incredibles two, I think, later on. But yeah, we definitely uh, will because yeah. because uh, it's yeah. Anything else you watched, played, done, read? Uh, Lord of the Rings. We spoke about that yep. briefly in the pre-show for the Incredible podcast. Yeah. Um, if you're a Patreon uh, member, you'll have seen that. If you're not, <laughs> no. You're Fellowship, yeah. my least favorite uh, uh, Lord of the Rings film. Uh, What's your favorite? Uh, Two Towers. Yeah. It's so my, my favorite. favorite film is Return of the King. My favorite book is Fellowship. I've not read the books because I find Tolkien too hard to read. Hmm? It's just too much. It's a lot of Is it the words? It's yeah. a lot of songs, <laughs> and it's just is. There are a lot of songs. He's, he's like you know, it's. <laughs> but yeah, I really yeah, but you get Bombadil in the books. But I like. I, I know like, everyone always goes on about. Let's know, get Bombadil, high. Bombadil, yeah. You need to read Thomas Covenant if you want to read a really fucking good based in Lord of the Rings. It's about a guy who has leprosy. Wow. Uh, in the real world, and ends up getting damaged, and ends up in a fantasy world, and the first thing he does there is rape this woman. My word, and it, it is, it is insane because when he gets <laughs> Sounds into horrible, Dan. It, no, it is. It's all about this anti-hero, this guy who is a piece a of villain, shit. You mean. <laughs> yeah, he's a piece of shit. Yeah. He slowly learns to be to better. stop being such a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay. no, not completely. And it is, it is such a wonderful book. I think it's Stephen Donaldson. Okay, well, okay. sounds very really interesting. But yeah. You, yeah, Thomas Covenant books. Jesus, so fucking yeah. good. Nice. But, blew, and, and also blew my mind as a Bellish kid. Was a great film. That's, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. But yeah, all, I think all three films are as best they can be with the time given. If that makes it like, like I in terms a, of the three out, like, from the end of the movie. Well, the third, the, the third one. The, yeah, like the end of. Yeah. The, sorry, I count them all as one yeah, thing. Do, do you hate? Would you hate the ghosts? No, I hate That's just how long complain. it fucking takes. Yeah, it's like the movie's ended. No, it's not. No, that oh, is. Yeah. The movie's ended. No, it's, it's not. But barring two towers, uh, fellowships like that as well. Yeah, because because like, I, I remember when I first watched it as a kid, and I remember they get to Rivendell, and I was like, oh, this is the end of the film. No, nope. this, no, this is clearly where it ends. They, they're all wrapping up. They're like, yeah. And you'll be the Fellowship of the Ring, and I was like, "Oh, hey, Yay. good film, good film." And then it's like, and then off they go on an adventure, and I was like, "Oh, we haven't even haven't even got there yet. <laughs> yeah. We haven't even got yeah. to the adventure it's yet. Still going. We're still, we're still working up to that." <laughs> uh, but yeah, that one ends yeah. too many times, and the third one ends just, far too many just times. Yeah, it just constant. Keeps ending. It's like yeah. here's an ending. No, James, no, my surprise at work, literally walked out of the cinema on the Fellowship because he thought it was over. <laughs> really? Yeah, he thought it finished, and he, and he left. 
I bought. I've got the extended. <laughs> I've got the extended box set of all of them in the nice bookcases. I do, I, it's, it's, and it's, it's like, delightful. oh yeah, really nice. And I stop just after the Eagles pick them up at the end. It's like, and that's the end. <laughs> oh, but you don't get when they return to the Shire. No, fuck that noise. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, but when uh, when they're in when they're in Ministerif and uh, yeah, no, you bow to no one. No, that bit's great. Yeah, no, and, and you're, like, you're like, oh god, I've come so far when you're watching. No, it. by that point, I am done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like, yeah, sure. Eagles taking them. Happy endings. <laughs> move on I've read the books I know what happens oh, I don't enough. need yeah. it so, you, oh. so what I do is Eagles take them away I put Brain Dead on by Pete Jackson there you go <laughs> happy days that's <laughs> Oh my brain god, dead. guys, you need about, to watch uh, that. I about brain dead we need to show Brain Dead and Bad Taste. What's that? Bad Taste is another He's one. Another Brad Taste brilliant. There's a brilliant bit where he puts a seagull's brain the inside his head. Peter Jackson films I've seen are Lord of the Rings, King Kong, and The Hobbit films, barring the last one, because I couldn't watch them. I couldn't. The second one is so shit. But I mean, The Hobbit films are shit they're awful yeah, yeah. so bad um, and I, 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 the last the one is one, one of the worst from. films I've ever seen I've heard it's really really shit oh I my didn't god. see it yeah neither did <laughs> like, let's I, make I like let's make a two and a half hour film about following around a moody dwarf mm. like really the, f- the first one Re- you're gonna do this really you're the, gonna just yeah. add to every stereotype going and make it a shit version of it oh, the first ah. one only kept me staying because of the want to be back in the Lord of the Rings world and then the second one I was like okay look the first one I think I enjoyed it and then uh, you watch the second one I was like this is the most boring film on the planet yeah. or well, can something anything happen I was just there for Smile who was like okay and I want to see like the dragon five minutes at the end yeah done oh, yeah. and then he's most or he's a lot of the third one but still he's yeah. some, was, some very bad scenes by that point I was like no, I was like nah, very bad I'm scenes. not watching another one Benedict Cumberbund can be all he wants to be in it I'm just not he was there a, he was a fine Smaug but yeah. he was uh, he was I'm not done. there enough done no. true Shit God. films. Agree that. Shitty films. Is that what you done? Is that, is that everything you've done this last couple of I'll tell you about a shitty film. Uh, I started watching Auto Carbon. Oh, you started watching? Yeah. You finished I've, I've been to that. I'm going to chat about that as well, yeah, because okay. that's what I'm going to do. But okay, what, well, what shit film are you going to say? Just a shit film. Uh, the Greatest Showman. Did you don't like it? Had you, to go did you see, watch it? I had to go and see that yesterday. My daughter wow. was like, Dad, let's go watch Greatest Showman. Oh, well, good dad, bye. Come on then. Yeah. Go along. Let's watch this. Oh, my God. It just reeked of someone so desperate for an Oscar. <laughs> it was like I've made it this is, movie. Uh, you can see that in the trailers. You it's, it trailers. is Oscar bait, and it's perfect Oscar Ooh, season. Touch Pete there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It, it was. Is, just... It released perfect Oscar season time. It was. It, is it was. Bait. It is fully there as Oscar bait, but it fails on every level. Yeah, there is. Picked up the story's sevens. bad. The song's bad. What's he like? I like Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is Hugh Jackman He's in Hugh it, Jackman but you can't it, yeah. save it. Hugh Jackman is yeah. not someone you get in to save a movie. No. Zac Efron couldn't save it. My word, and he is bulletproof. He is bulletproof. Yeah, as they uh, watch. Actually, a really good movie. I'm yet to watch it. I do want to watch it. <laughs> I, really I need to watch that it as well. I need to watch that as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, as you guys said, you binge got Old Carbon. Yes, I you did. You'll start watching it. I'm um, two episodes in. I've watched it. Very good um, so far. I re- I loved it. I thought it was amazing. It's actually, upon reflection of it, it is my even though the Stranger Things, it's my se- my favourite. Netflix original. Series. I thought it was far better than Stranger Things season two. Yeah, see, Stranger Things season two was. I think was good. Stranger Things, the first one was a game changer for how we view television. Yeah, and that definitely. was really nice. But this is if you are into Blade Runner. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, yeah. Blade Runner, Ghost in the Shell, Matrix. What if you're lo- into those things. What I love about it was it's brilliant. How it is just so ballsy, going so sci-fi deep. It, like it is in terms of like, uh, was it you said to me? I've heard it's really complicated to follow, and I'm like, it, it, you need to just pay attention because there's yeah. so much lingo that is used throughout the, the series. You're I like, remember uh, I was watching the first episode, and for the first like 20 minutes, I was like, it was felt like I was at school. I was like, yeah. okay, like, I was like really paying attention, <laughs> trying, trying to listen to everything they were saying, and like you know, saying like spun up and sleeves and saying all yeah, this yeah. stuff. And I was like, okay, all right. And then about 20 minutes in, for some reason, it was like it all clicked in. Yeah, yeah. and I was like. This is really cool. It's because <laughs> so much of it you recognise from things you've yeah. seen in movies and films before. Yeah. You're just like, actually, if I just put all that together, it makes sense. And I, I hate it when TV series feel like they have to do what video games do and give you a tutorial. I hate yeah. it when they feel like the pilot yeah. is like a, holding a hand through, this is what this is, and this is what this... Almost, like Ghost in the Shell, the live movie adaptation version, yeah. almost done that too much for the first half hour, 40 minutes, and that's yeah. what its detriment was. Okay. Like, Just just go in. Like, If, if people aren't... Not intelligent, but people haven't got the attention span to keep up and understand what's going on. 
fuck them. It's not for them. Pay, yeah. pay respect to the people who are there to really indulge in it and, and get into it. It's like The Matrix. No one watched The Matrix the first time, finished it and went, I completely understood that movie. Everyone went, i got to watch that again. Because what the really? hell just that? Like, in terms of the real deep, like... No, no, it's Matrix 2. Everyone sat there and went, what the fuck was like that the, the first Matrix, people were asking the questions, weren't they? Did that really ask the questions that it's asking? Like, the whole of the Matrix and the reality and the what is the Matrix? And people weren't completely clued up on what exactly the Matrix was, I don't think. I certainly wasn't. Well, I did philosophy, so it's the philosophy. It's a it's a normal standpoint of are we in a machine? I can't remember okay. the name of it now, but I'd heard that one before. Freud, so. he's around. He gets thrown around. It wasn't Freud. It's Stefan mm-hmm. Freud. He gets thrown around. It's those, Stefan right? Freud. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mean Sigmund? Yeah. Him. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Alters carbon. I, I get thumbs up. Bang yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Really I will say it. it's fucking brutal. There is a lot of nudity in it, um, but it's oh, the women are hot. The main woman is so hot. The main woman. Which, one, which one's the main woman? The police woman. Yeah. She's hot. Oh, okay. She is hot. I liked um, his sister. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was... This is news to me. I don't know who that is. Yeah, I'm not really... Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, you wait until yeah. later on. Um, I watched Cloverfield Paradox. Haven't seen it yet. I've, he's spoken of it. I watched this uh, because... Obviously, we watched the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. And then, during the Super Bowl, I had IGN open because it's we don't get the ads over in the UK. Um, it's not the ads, the trailers. Um, so I always have IGN normally the first place for them to go on to and they update all the time. So watching that. And then all of a sudden there's one come on for Clothefield Paradox. I was like, oh, look, cool, this must be coming out soon. Watched it. Available on Netflix after the game. And I was like, really? So even when the game finished, surprise. I went on Netflix and I was like, it's actually there. I was very tempted to watch it at quarter to four <laughs> in the morning, but I was like, I'm going to go to bed and watch this in the morning. Got up. All I saw on Twitter was how shit this... This is everyone hating it. Oh my god, such a letdown. I heard a lot of people be being very disappointed. So I went in and watched it. Uh, and as I said to you last week in the in the the post show content, it's good. It's not groundbreaking. It's not going to win awards. It's not going to change lives. But it's a perfectly good film. Like it's the worst Cloverfield film. But then you're putting it behind two what I think are very good films. I didn't like the first movie. See, and I know a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, I like. It. I really like the first movie. Oh, the second one was really good. Uh, Ten Ten Cloverfield Lane Excellent was film, yeah. incredible yeah. film. Um, but yeah, I think this was. So in my eyes, it's the worst Cloverfield film. But like I said, I'm putting that behind two, what I class very good films. And it's, it's perfectly fine. I don't. I still can't work out what people are hating. Oh, this doesn't answer this question. Oh, it's this. I'm just like, like. Sometimes I think you just need to sit back and enjoy a film for what it is. Oh like, God, yeah. You don't need to read into every, like it's not the it's Matrix like where Baywatch. you can read into Baywatch everything. isn't there for an intellectual yeah. stimulation. Like Pacific it's Rim because like, it's yeah. just a it's yeah. Just a if you're if yeah. you're comparing this against like fully in depth intricate sci fi films, then yeah, it's miles behind. Mm. If you're comparing it against Oscar worthy dramas, it's miles behind. If you're comparing it against sci fi action films, it's miles behind. But it kind of just about ticks the boxes for being a good all rounder, and it just gets through it. Like, oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying go watch it now; it's amazing. But I'm saying give it a chance because it's not nearly as bad as some people are banging on about. Yeah, like I will watch it at some point. Yeah, uh, and then last thing I want to touch on is I finally managed to spend more time on Monster Hunter World. Um, <laughs> I'm going to need to touch on this, aren't we? Considering what's coming. Yeah, up. <laughs> I'm 18 hours in, and I've just about got an idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but that's the game. Like, there you go. It's a good start. Yeah, <laughs> I'm monster. I've just hit monster rank 11, and everyone was going on on like Twitter. Don't upgrade your armor. Don't do this. Wait until you hit monster rank 111 or monster rank 11. Like, without giving spoilers, that was something big happened yeah. around 11. Mm. And yeah, something big does happen around 11. And oh my god, it's fucking awesome. And Everyone, including my palico, just looks sick now. It's just, it's just very good. It is a game though that it is not for the faint-hearted, and I mean that in terms of mm. I'm 20 hours in, I'm monster, I'm yeah, monster hunter rank 11 uh, out of 100. Like, have you played yet, Dan? No, I just get to see my brother's updates oh. as he's got this more is a, shit, and yeah. it's all just pictures yeah. of him having killed massive things. It's a mass, it is a massive, and you go like my nephew come over the other day. Uh, and he was like, I really want to go, I want to see what the game's like. And he was like, oh, can we go, he'd seen on YouTube some videos, can we go hunt this monster? And I was like, well, I do know where it is, but it's like about a 40-minute process. Oh, it's cool. And it was a case of you have to go out. I knew where it was. 
I researched it enough that I knew it, I could see its route on the map or yeah. where it would take. Yeah. So I could lay traps there to come around here to attack it here. So I knew when it went into a traps. When I could go here because I knew to lay, lay in the traps there, get me an advantage point, I could jump on its back. When I could attack it on the back, then I could throw down sleep things and when I caught it. And it was a 40 minute full on process to get this one creature to get three bits of loot yeah. that will be 20 to 30 percent towards getting new armor. <laughs> like, it's a good push though. <laughs> But it's um, Most of people like, fight monsters. Is, yeah, it's, like, yeah. it. Oh, when you see people good at it, like you, you think, oh, I can't make that hard. Just oh, yeah, the I weapons. Mean, just watching you was fun. When you watch people who are good at it and you see what they do with the weapons, they like traverse the map. Oh, it's insane. Yeah, it's really. I'm really enjoying it now. As I said before, the first five six hours I was a bit down on it. Got into it more. I'm now just under twenty hours in, and I now keep thinking I want to go play more. I want to go play more because I've unlocked a lot more stuff, and I'm like, oh, I want to go back. And I can see now what the end game is, although I'm not anywhere near the end of the story I can see what the end game grind is and why yeah. people get so enticed into it because yeah. the monsters already look awesome what monsters after 50, 60 hours look like I cannot imagine and to go hunting them and what their armour will look like and offer you yeah. again I cannot imagine so Monster Hunter World is if you stick with it and you're willing to put in 50, 60, 100 hours into a game it's definitely worthwhile definitely worthwhile I'll put DBZ update to be a purpose update but I'm not going to worry about that Cool. Okay. okay, we're going on to our next part now of the um, Not So Indie Show. And 2018 has had a shit ton of movie trailers. Do you agree? It yeah, has, yeah. An absolute shit. I've got a list here of just, just a couple, but not necessarily the best, but some that stood out to me. Uh, you got a skyscraper movie with um, the, the, the Rock. Uh, yes. Fallen Kingdom, Venom movie, Ant-Man 2, Deadpool 2, Incredibles 2, Infinity War... Game Night, I'll put that in there because it had board games in it and I downloaded board games. Shit, um, Mission Impossible 6, Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell, <laughs> Woo! Han Solo or Solo, and Deep Blue Sea 2. Right. Right. So and that's what, just some of them. There yeah. have been more. So I mean, we just now, had a Ready Player One yeah, I, released so yesterday. That got released yesterday. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that got released yesterday, but I could have easily updated my notes, but I, I didn't. Who cares? I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to, rather than us arguing over each other, what we're going to do is we're going to pick our three favourite trailers each, and then they are complete subjective opinions. Okay. Your three favourite trailers you've seen so far from the year. And then a quick little spiel on what you liked about them and why you're looking forward to the film. Okay. The reason I haven't included Black Panther in here, by the way, guys, is because it's out, out now. Yeah. So that's why I haven't put Black Panther in here. Um, go on, Tom, start us off. Three trailers that you've seen so far. That you're like, oh, yeah. And you're yeah. like, oh, yeah. That, that sold me. Because the trailer's there to sell you on yeah. the film. What has and made you? Know you? What? This year is the yet to really sell me on anything. This year, is it? Well, um, yeah. Incredibles 2, I'm sold on that because I love The Incredibles. And, and oh, it's a good trailer. I thought it was a good the, trailer. The trailer is good. And there, there are things that I worry about in it, but I'm, I'm definitely going to go see it. Is the thing. Yeah. And the same with uh, Avengers: Infinity War. I'm okay. so invested in the Marvel universe now. I'm obviously like, going to see it. Yeah. And like I said to you before the podcast, all they need to do is sprinkle in the theme, the, the tune, theme tune. And I was like, so yes, <laughs> <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> um, do you not have the trailer though? I liked the first trailer for that for what? Infinity War. No, yes, no, yeah. I did like. But it. you need so, one more. But, that, but the thing is, they could get me really easily. You need one more. Go on. It hasn't got me from this list. It could be anything that you've seen. Yeah, literally. I, I, there are things that I've been Venom, like, Venom didn't sell you? <laughs> <laughs> that horseshit trailer. <laughs> oh, I just can't... Uh, just imagine the big board meetings where they've got like 70 people on there for the marketing for this movie and they go, I've got the idea. Let's not put the Simbra in there. Let's not... Well, it's okay. Well, Simbra is in, yeah. in there. Let's not yeah. put Venom in the trailer. Yeah. I, the, the argument is it is a teaser No trailer, one expects it. But... No, no, it's not a teaser. That's the issue. A teaser, teaser trailer is, is teaser. 40 seconds, not a minute and a half. This is a minute no, and a half trailer. Yeah, no, okay. is that a is not a teaser trailer. It is a teaser. By definition, maybe not, but it is classified it is as a teaser. teaser. If trailer. you look at the, look at the video, yeah, it does it's say a teaser, teaser trailer. trailer. You can say that about any trailer then. You can go, it's a teaser trailer. This four minute Titanic trailer is a teaser trailer. Well, if, because the film's three hours long, so if, in perspective, it's a teaser. If Sony are calling it a teaser trailer, yeah, then a teaser I, trailer. I'm, I'm going to yeah. agree with them. No, what they should have told it was a shit trailer. Yo, no, yeah, no, I'm carry on. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's so what? So you're just going with I, I Incredibles. Say, I and think Ant-Man Ant 2 looks good, but I'm not like, oh, wow, Ant-Man 2. See, I thought what, that... Sorry? Ant-Man 2. Ant-Man uh, and Wasp. I think it looks good, but I don't, I'm not like, oh, got to see that, you know. As a trailer, it looks fine. I thought that was brilliant. I thought Ant-Man 2 is a brilliant trailer. I thought he'd done everything that I wanted. Well, I liked about the first one, but just fluffed up even more. I've just seen so many better trailers in my time. 
yeah, in my we're, time, we're talking my about, many years. We're talking about, well, I live in the age of trailers, so you've got okay. to admit. Trailers... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, the 80s was full of trailers. We were, we were the dawn you, of advertising. The, the, well, wait, 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 no, you don't watch films now on, on cassettes or DVDs where you had... Ten trailers before the film even started. Yeah, but you I could did. skip that shit. <laughs> um, Never skip it. I always used to watch. No, no, he can. Oh, with yeah. his DVD technology. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry, yeah. I have technology yeah. from 20 you years never ago. Had to, you never had to rewind the tape after finishing it. And take before it back you took to the a band of blockbuster. Yeah, I did. God, I, I did. didn't. No. In 2006, you were 10 yeah. years old. I shit you not. I used to tape films. Where do I put this I had loads of tapes. I had to replace all my tapes with DVDs. Cool, but that was hard for you, wasn't it, eh? Yeah, I had a lot of tapes. <laughs> um, um, what was it? I forgot what I was going to say now. I don't know. What were we talking about? don't know. Well, you said Ant-Man was mediocre in so your eyes mediocre. the trailer. And I was saying, uh, because trailers these days are a, a fucking big deal. I mean, when yeah, a trailer yeah, comes yeah. out, and we have teasers for teasers these days. Yeah. We're like, always yeah. oh, a teaser for the teaser trailer that's coming out in two days. Yeah. I think trailers are a huge deal nowadays. Well, Way more than they used to be in the 80s. Massive market. 80s, yeah. yeah. Trailers are great. But on t- trailers now, it's like they make or break films. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a, it's a big. But that's deal. but that's because we're all connected now. And yeah, I agree. The shit yeah. like this podcast where we bitch and moan about yeah. trailers. I agree. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm gonna dive in then. Go on, I'm yeah. gonna start off with. Ones you actually I like? really <laughs> did not. I really didn't like Deadpool two trailer. It's fine. I was like, as soon as as soon as Deadpool popped up, and I was like, whoa, that was predictable. Really. Like, uh, I, I get it's Deadpool. That's, no, no. That's, that's this has to. This was my argument you with you Deadpool. last week. Yeah, gone. The the biggest issue and Deadpool one is an okay film. It's the biggest hypocrite of a film in the world. In terms yeah. of it starts whoa, 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 listen, whoa, last week. Yeah. It starts off taking the piss out of superhero films and yes. ends up being a linear superhero film who is saving the world from a evil person. And that's the point. Did you I don't not think it get is. that joke? I'm pretty sure I didn't say is. that. But the, but I don't no, think no, it is. it is. That is the joke. I think it is the case of the... I don't even know who directed it, but they ran out of ideas halfway through and went, we're just going to throw a boss fight in the end. That's honestly what I felt. And it was a pretty poor boss fight if you compare it to other superhero films. To be fair, they, they wanted to do more with the film, but their budget was cut because their the studio didn't... Well, they it. never had any budget anyway. Yeah, exactly, it was a small yeah. budget. I just, I Read thought it was... any Deadpool. And you yeah. have. You've borrowed I'm, it from I'm, me. I'm, I've got shit ton of Deadpool. I like Deadpool, Deadpool and that's what I mean. all about taking the piss and then... Doing the same thing, but I like, it's like going look at these dickheads over here doing that, and then doing the same I mean, thing. De- Deadpool That's what like, Deadpool. Oh, he's Deadpool aware was. he's in the Marvel universe, but he's still in the Marvel. But all universe. the Deadpool I've like, read yeah. that you lent me, I, all the stuff I enjoyed was the first half of the film. The second half of the film, I was like, I could be watching BVS now. I could be watching <sighs> Superman. I could, but I could be. It's the exact same well, boss fight. You, you couldn't. They, they, it wasn't shit like BBS. But, well, I, see, that's thing. That. But in my eyes, I thought the last half hour of Deadpool was shite. Absolutely dog shite. I hated the Colossus character. I was like, he's shit. I don't even know what her fucking name is. She's shit. Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Yeah. yeah. Her. Like, I didn't like it. <laughs> like, I just did not like it one bit. And that this trailer, as soon as, is, I don't remember saying this last week. You're, you're probably going soon, in on yeah. it now. As soon as this trailer came up, and I was, I literally watched it with Sarah. And I so said, you hate the fact that you went back to the full-on '90s cartoon of X-Men and brought back the real people no, no, from no, no, it. No. That instead of following the same line that Fox has done all the time of going, oh look, here's Wolverine this, and being <laughs> bullshit. No, I don't mind. my butter on the toast. They've done real things. No, I don't mind. Which is what he did. I don't mind real characters. I'm just Deadpool saying. Deadpool gave us the proper comics. I'm just saying. I don't mind the, the real characters. They were just portrayed shit in the film. No, they weren't. I thought they were so... They were, they were portrayed as they are in the comics. I just thought it was... This was a full-on, true fanboy movie. That if you <sighs> like Deadpool... and if you're I in thought the, it was hypocritical. There was no hypocritical bit in there. He didn't That's turn around and go, I'm Deadpool. Yeah. No, he did take the piss no out of it. There was no parts in anyway, there. It was, um, no, 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 no. Not anyway bullshit. <laughs> fucking piss off. <laughs> If you're going to criticise Deadpool, you've got to do it for now. the good reasons to criticise Deadpool. Okay, so the Deadpool and 2 trailer... No, 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 trailer. I haven't finished yet. The good reasons to criticise the Deadpool Deadpool in what it was, was the lack of budget. Was the fact that they weren't able to do what they should have done with the movie. Yeah, but Ant-Man didn't have a budget and it done brilliant. And Ant-Man was, was awesome. shit. It was awesome. Well, Ant-Man was shit. Ant-Man was shit. Ant-Man was shit. I would take Ant-Man shit. over no, Deadpool Ant-Man. all day long. Yeah, of course you would, but you also take anal, so I mean, we've got to balance this shit off, haven't we? Um, <laughs> I think Ant-Man was good. It wasn't, the, Ant-Man was not it's, good. It's not like... 
I think, I think uh, Paul pill. Rudd did an all right job doing it, but we're talking about a, a very bland, nothing character, I which think, is what they realised and they needed to bring him in for the Civil War. Yeah, I think to it, have that they big did, scene. They did from well the comic with um, having a character that really the average person doesn't even know who Ant Man is. And you might, yeah, you but might they've had to do that do, with like Doctor Strange, and they've had to that do that afterwards. With, yeah. After they proved they could do it with Guardians and then again Well, it was Man-Man. Guardians was the one that really yeah. did it. Yeah, I agree. Because no one really knew Guardians. But Ant-Man was a more... He's a thief sounds, who loves his sounds, daughter. I, I it was all very... Ant-Man mm. sounds stupid. Yeah, because he, he, he's yeah, stupid. But, 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 but they, he, he's they have no Ant-Man. shame in it's taking like, the piss what? out of that, do they? about Ant-Man. Um, anyway, go back to his trailers. But the Deadpool 2 trailer, they the problem with it that they have is because Deadpool is so obvious... Well, that's it. So that you can't do so anything. So Sarah and I other watched it on the TV, and lit- just, what twenty seconds in when it was being a serious thing, I literally said to her, "Like in Deadpool's gonna come on a minute and take the piss out of this," and then ten seconds later he come on and start taking a piss out. And I was but like, if he did, oh my god, really? Like if he didn't come on and do that, I'd have enjoyed it. No, you wouldn't. You'd be sitting there going, That's "He's not, not being Deadpool." Yeah. But then that is the now. The point of Deadpool is he takes the piss. Saying, so he this goes. In. So this goes back. To, let's go back to the budget. You're going to go watch Deadpool too because you love it. I am. Yeah. People like me who don't know much Deadpool and are very a bit predictable probably aren't going to watch it at cinema. So they're not going to get much budget to make another movie because they're not. Because they're not. Until a new film's coming. Sorry. I don't really know much about Deadpool until any yeah. of the films. Yeah, I think you're going to find Deadpool was a massive hit and lots of people have got into Deadpool A lot Deadpool of people from are it. down on the second trailer. They're all a bit like, mm, really? It just looked a bit... I, I don't think that's because of the trailer. I think that's because there's a bit of fatigue with Deadpool now. Yeah. Because I which think... is bad after one film. We're well, talking one, like no, one film. It was a huge was marketing huge campaign. Huge marketing this campaign. This big, explosive film that did extremely well and then more stuff coming afterwards. Well, it done extremely well for expectations. In the grand scheme of things... It, it done an, did an, an R-rated so superhero many other film. movies. It, it it broke. I can't remember the exact numbers, but it broke the budget. So it broke the amount it oh, made. Oh, done well, but if you compare compared it to, to Batman versus Superman, but yeah. but compared to um, one Come of the Marvel movies that oh, had just come out, it, it smashed it. This isn't I'm a saying, small budget movie that did well for its budget. It fucking smashed it, mate. But, you know, I'm saying, no, it did do well, but it didn't smash to, it in comparison to oh, you know, I'm if saying, it had compared the same to Guardians, budget, it done. It was nowhere near Guardians. Guardians was so much higher than this. Oh, you right. can check. I know Can't that. Check it now. Um, I'm gonna look you up because um, I know Guardians did better, but actually, percentage-wise, but also how much the they budget, meant, uh, how much they made was incredibly close. Uh, and also because you can take your kids to see Guardians, that's what would have done better. Um, let's move on. Oh, are you, you shit talking about rated superhero films now? <laughs> no, not oh, at all. So you think, um, so I think Logan, Wolverine? I think Logan. Yeah, you think Logan was a piece of shit because you couldn't take your kids to see it? No, I think it was the best. Make film your video. fucking mind up, you hypocrite! No, I'm saying that's what it's. And that's more. how hypocrite is actually used. <laughs> I didn't Just say to use the word in context and what it really means, mate. If you guys that's listened, a hypocrite. It would be helpful. Um, all I'm saying is, <laughs> sorry, hypocrite. Sold I don't more. understand what you're saying. It sold um, more. Ah, <laughs> it sold hypocrite. more because let's more use audience. Sentence. Let's go to percentage. More percentage of the audience can watch the film. That's why it sold more. Not it's better. It sold more because more of the actual people who populate this world and pay money to go into a cinema can go and see that film. I I think you're looking at from a very studio point of view there. So yeah. it, what you mean, a marketing it's point of view? earned seven hundred and forty-five point yeah, seven million. What Deadpool? Deadpool. Um, and then let's go to. So I actually name my three favourite trailers. Yeah, go for it, and then I'll prove you wrong. Three favorite trailers. Now you're going to disagree with these, definitely, Tom. Yeah, go um, on. I actually like the Mission Impossible trailer. Oh, I didn't watch it. I like the Mission Impossible trailer. I, I've really for, loved the newer Mission Impossible film. For the yeah, for the sixth film of a series, you're talking enjoyable. about being tired. Yeah, it seemed fine. Like it, as regional as it can be. But for I some it. reason, when the trailer came out, I, 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 so many times I hovered over it, and I was like, nah, I can't be asked to watch it. Uh, I, I actually really liked not the first one, but the second Super Bowl trailer for. Uh, Fallen Kingdom, Jurassic World. Yeah. Uh, although it looked very Monsters Inc. Sneaking into kids' rooms at night with a dinosaur, I was like waiting for the scare meter to come up and all that. I think it looks crap. Uh, oh, I know you do. I know you're a bit down on it, but yeah. I actually did really like. Um, I, will, I don't think I'm going to see it. No. no. And I liked, as I said earlier, I liked Ant Man too, or Ant Man and the Wasp. I um, again, I, I thought it looked okay, but I don't. It think sold it was a good me on trailer. going to see. It sold me on going to see it. I didn't like. I wanted. To see, I, I was so hoping the solo trailer would sell me on the film. Um, but no, I was hoping it would. Like, I was hoping yeah, to no, be no, down no, there. I was hoping it would And then too, watch but... it and then be like, I need to go and watch this. It definitely did not sell anyone. Uh, it didn't sell me. It was crap. Actually. It was a crap trailer. Didn't sell me at all. Um, okay, go. Guardians. 
So what did I say for things? 750. 700, Put it up yeah. on the screen now, Lewis. 771 million for Guardians. That's more. Yeah. How much did um, thingy cost to make? 50, 500,000? Oh, well, no. We, no. We, the, you, point, the point is... Your first point that, is... No, the point is they're incredibly close. You just said yeah. that because... You could take your kids. No, vastly. Yeah, sell more. Because you could take your kids, you could sell more. Vastly more. Yeah, just. It's more. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking lose my shit, you dipshit. You can't be that thick. If you win by an inch a mile, you win, don't you? Seriously, you cannot be that thick. If the Formula One drive wins by an inch a mile, do they come first? God, it's first. Dan, what are your three favourite trailers from the year so far? Oh, it's, you cannot be that thick, mate. You cannot be that thick. My fee, three favourite trailers so far are none of them. I thought about this and I sat through them and I was like, you know what? I think you're right to say that. So Dead, Deadpool 2 that good. was weak. Yeah. I, I, It had to cut in. I was, it had to cut in, it I had to say. do it because it was Deadpool I almost too. didn't watch it because I knew, I knew what was coming. Yeah. It's Deadpool. It's Deadpool. Yeah. It needs to do it. Yeah, of course I'm going to see it. I love Deadpool, but it was a weak trailer. Mm. Solo. Awful trailer. Oh, so yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, God yeah. Donald Glover's in it because I was watched it and I thought, you know what, it should be. It should you be mean Lando. Danny Glover? Danny Glover <laughs> with Bill Gibson <laughs> playing you. <his, laughs> uh, Gibson could play Chewy. That would be Chewy. I hate Chewy. Chewy, didn't he? Uh, that, was, that was great. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, Chewy, that's like Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> the guy oh, I got playing him was pretty yeah. fucking close. <laughs> it should be a Lando movie. Oh, I'd love a Lando movie. That would, because he was, he's awesome in the trailer. You watch the trailer and you're like, that's a character you know worth expanding on. Han Solo, I could All give a we're going to do is watch it and go, it's not Harrison Ford. Yeah, yeah exactly. And well, the well, guy playing him, I'm really sorry, I don't know who it is, but he doesn't look like him. He hasn't got swagger about him. He hasn't got that. No. And I'm just like, oh. But you God. said that rumour that he can't act. <laughs> There's rumours that he had an acting yeah. coach and dialect coach on set at all times uh, because he could. Why would you employ someone who can't? Uh, he was, pr- I think he's pretty hot off the press off that uh, Coen Brothers film. Yeah. What it's called. Um, um, George Clooney's in it. It's it's a big. Is it the oh, I can't fucking remember. It's pissed me off. It's like two years ago, I think, it came out. And he was apparently really good in that. I haven't seen it, so I can't comment. Oh, okay. But yeah, I, can't and I think because he was sort of getting so a bit he came of off the back of that. that yeah. Right. And okay. uh, thinking he's he's but gonna he be was, great. In the trailer, you're just like that's. That's it's, just, it's just not Han Solo, is it? It just didn't. And look. of course, with Mel Gibson and Danny Glover in the background, you just it really distracted, really, if anything. Yeah. Um, and what was the what was the other one? Um, Ready Player One. I've got yeah, which that, came that out, which came out yesterday. So I can't talk about it. I'm I'm excited. I love for it. the book. I'm really excited for it, regardless of the trailer. Trailer not, keeps putting me off because they keep there's points in it where they're like, "Oh, welcome to the resistance." There is no resistance. No. You read the book, there is no resistance. No, there isn't. You, you know, you have Gunters, who are people who are searching for the yeah. egg, and you have ones who work in clans, but yeah. there isn't a resistance to this. And these... Oh, can't we, and we can't go away spoilers, but no. Um, there's loads of bits in it, I'm just there going... I do like how they've, they've added... So, like, someone was like... Oh, Tracer's in it now, it's not in the book. I'm like, I, I oh, like... That's good. I like how they've added modern pop culture into... Yeah. The, the Oasis, because you got either of the Oasis, it's this organic, ever-living yeah. universe that would update with whatever happens in the future. I mean, the 80s are important in it, because Oh, I think they're massive in there. I mean, yeah. that's... I'm with Gundams. Look at the in the Gundams in there. They're not. None of them. Have you not seen I what saw, his robot is? There's a movie... There's no. I know his robot's not Gundam, but there is a movie poster with a Gundam on it. Yeah, but that's background Gundam. His uh, isn't the Gundam it's supposed uh, to be. Oh, we'll see. They've made it Iron Giant. Oh, I did and they've that. made I big changes like that to it, which you sort of like that doesn't work. See, my problem because I I didn't even know there was a book until you guys told me. All oh, right, okay. And seeing these trailers come up of this strange film, not heard anything about it before, it just all seems a bit like you know, Ugh, pop culture, Ugh, nostalgia. It just seems like this yeah, is, that's what a book. This doesn't seem like the a book story. Is. That's what the, the book, book is. is. Yeah, and, and it's, it's weird because the, the, there's so, that, so that, many that Spielberg thing. references in the book. To have Spielberg do it. Yeah, Spielberg It's mental. Um, but yeah, well, that's but the, the, yeah the trailer. You're not been blown away by them. No. Okay. Uh, let us know what you guys think to the to the trailers. Um, Brian and Trevor, patrons, if you're watching, let us know what's been your favourite trailer so far. Maybe you like the trailer. Or anyone on YouTube, <laughs> just let us know what's been your favourite trailer of the year so far. Um, as I said, I ran through the list earlier, um, but they've not been loads. Maybe the same thing we I just thought of the trailer. I've seen that. I was like, Go oh on. yeah, um, double kick. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah game trailer. Like, yeah. yeah, that was really I good. That and was like. So that was exclusively movie um, trailers. But yeah, 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 yeah. You know what time it is for now, don't you? 
Hammer time. It is. Oh, it is. Summer time. Here we go. Here if we anyone go. watched last week or last month, they would have seen uh, me oh, rage. Yeah, but it was yeah. my fault. Um, I, I. It was not a very fair competition no, it wasn't. at all. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, but every month in this show, we do uh, Lewis's extrava. No, what was I called it? Lewis's extravaganza extra. No, Lewis's extraordinary extra. Ordinary quiz show. The funny thing is, doesn't extraordinary just mean extraordinary? Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah so why you, just, you separate you just the words? Said it twice. Yeah. <laughs> Extra, so you said it's one. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. extraordinary. Extra ordinary. See, extraordinary. Separate them. Um, Give him that one, Dan. Come on. No. Okay. okay um, <laughs> so this time, as I spoke about earlier, on the well, Tom has watched me play Monster Hunter. Yes. For an hour, and he's and he's kind of controlled a character in there a little bit. Um, for a bit, I thought some But stuff. I'm um. Cool. So what we're gonna do today is I've got ten monster hunter. Well, I've got ten monsters. I don't even know what percentage is real. Oh, I do know what percentage is real. I hope so. Um, yeah. written that. I do know what percentage is real. Um, <laughs> It'd be amazing if you put a random. A certain. Up and it ended up being a, real one. Real, yeah. a certain percentage is a actual monster's name, and a certain percentage isn't. Now, if you don't know any of these monsters, and you're playing Monster Hunter World. A lot of these are from when you unlock, um, I say world, area three onwards. So there are a lot more. Some of these are high levels. I've not even met them yet. I got them off the internet. The Fair enough. Seen internet. I hope um, so gooch all you have to do almost is go is. through. Snap. <laughs> all you have to do is go through, and I'm going to call. Out, I'm going to say the monster's name. I'll spell okay. it for you if you want. You need to tell me is it a true or false on the monster's name. Do you want a pen so you can write whether Tom, who says what? Tom is winning one nil at the moment, and this Rating will be champion. But this will be going on over the whole year. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spell Spelling games. You got There's 11 more of those. I know. You're <laughs> dyslexic. I'm bad at spelling. So. <laughs> including, including this, you've got 11 rounds to catch up. So you've got more than enough. Oh, okay. Anyway, be good. first monster. Is it true or false? Is it called okay. a basil geese? Basil geese. Is a basil false. geese a monster in Monster Hunter World? False. You're saying false? I'm yeah. saying true. You're saying true? It is true. Damn it. Yeah! Dan that, gets that, that one. That sounded like a Lewis one to me, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Basil geese. Okay. <laughs> it's a geezer who Next, just loves basil, basil geese. Next monster. No, and I'm going to have these um, These names will be up at the bottom for anyone who's watching can All see right. the spelling of it. Um, and uh, yeah, if you play along at home, then I'll give you a little pause so you can uh, try and see if you're right. Monster 2, Slop Trop. Is a Slop <laughs> Trop a monster in Monster Hunter? I don't true. Know. You're saying true. I'm saying true for that. Sounds right. Uh, I'm going to go with true as well. It's not. I made that one up. <laughs> oh, no. I like that one. Yeah. You should make monster names. Slop Trop uh, sounds real. Slop Trop. How is Basil Geese well, real, but Slop, slop Trop isn't? I don't know. Yeah. Monster, monster 3. Dodo Gamma. Is a Dodo Gamma oh, a monster? Oh, that sounds true. Because you've got... That does sound true. Is it, yeah. is it a double a bluff? It's a, oh. <laughs> oh, Dodo I'm, I'm Gamma. D-O-D-O-G-A-M-A. I want to say true as well, but am I allowed to say true? Yeah, you can write yourself. I said the same as true. That's a good point you did last time. Yeah, you're both right. You're winning though still, so... I'm still upset that Slop Trop's not a monster. I think it should so real. Okay. Monster 4, Sniffin. It's a fucking Pokemon, no. Sniffin, S-N-I-F-F-I-N, Sniffin. False. False? False. Yes, yeah, false. <laughs> Is it actually a Pokemon? I don't know, it just sounds no, like one. Yeah. Uh, no mark there. Um, oh no, you both got it right, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, down, down, and point. there, and there. <laughs> Next up, Legea Mantis. Legea true. Mantis. Is yeah, that a monster or not a monster? True. Yeah. I made that one up. Damn hey! it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm, I'm so confident. job here for you, man. <laughs> so uh, confident. Trump, okay. Mantis. Monster number six, Kirin. K-I-R-I-N. A Kirin. Uh, True. Why have I heard of that before? Mm. Shit. <laughs> I'm going to go with true. true as well. I'm saying true. true. Yeah, you're right. It's an elder. It's one of the elder monsters yeah. that is... There's a quest around it, but you've got to be like Monster Hunter ranked 36, and it's mentally brutal. It must brutal. mean something I was, else. I was I've thinking, heard that before. I was it's thinking. a Thunder Elder monster. I don't know if that means Is anything it used to you. another game? I don't know. <clears throat> Next up, Paolumu. Is a Paolumu a monster in Monster False. Hunter? No, doesn't he play for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Is that a Paolumu? Paolumu. False. False. So false, false, it's true. Is it really? It is a, probably one of the weirdest Damn creatures it. in there. It is a <laughs> flying rat thing that has big puffer ball and it just shoots wind at you. It's I said false weird. because all the ones that sounded true before were false. <laughs> <laughs> Teostra. Teostra. T-E-O. 
S T R A T O Stra. Is that a monster or not? I'm gonna go with false. Saying true, you're saying false. Yeah, it's true. Oh, Oh, nicely done. I don't know why. I was gonna go with Tetsuo, and I thought he'd gone with that (laughs) sort of way. I was saying true because I think he's mispronouncing it, and if he wrote it himself, he would mispronounce it. So, oh, okay. Z Alphasaurus. A Z Alphasaurus. Is that true or false? That's false. It's, yeah, but is That's it? False. But is it? It's false. Z- Power Rangers. Z Alphasaurus. It's Z and Alpha from it, and he's just a oh, Saurus shit. on the end. Oh shit! You're right. <laughs> Thank you, David. Help me out on that one. True or false? False. It false. Damn it! You read into it. <laughs> literally, that was my. Well done. Yeah, well I saw done. that as soon as you that said was it. Literally... Was like, That's fucking Power Rangers. <laughs> I thought it sounded ridiculous, but I didn't see the Power Rangers. I literally. <laughs> As soon as I made it, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to try and do it every single one. The Power Rangers reference, Power but I'm mashing up the names. Yeah. But, no, um, sorry, mate. Saw that one. All right. Decider. Okay. Nid Jeff. Ninja, sorry. Nin Jeff. N-I-N-J-E-F-F. Ninja. <laughs> it's like ninja, but Jeff does it. Yeah. I'm going to go with true, because I'd like Jeff to be a ninja. Ninja. What do you think, Tom? This is you it. Gamble and go false, and then one and then of you one win, of us wins, or you go true, and, and you have potential draw. of what's draw. the tiebreaker? There isn't one. You just goes. You it get point each. Draw. Ninja. It's true. Same true. So you're both going for true then. It's correct. Hey. I feel like true. you sort of gave it away. Really? Because he said you can go false and go next, and you know. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, and then so, go true, and then yeah. both get a point. For and then I, yeah. I literally thought I'd rather not, you know, I'd rather be a draw that That's way. You'd I've got a point, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's uh, two-one yeah. after round two, to you guys. But yeah, it's not a bad little game, was it? I still love the fact you put Power Rangers in there. Z Alpha Z Alpha So did you think I wouldn't notice that one? Because <laughs> I, I knew you. I don't know. Obviously, you know Z and you know Alpha. Alpha, yeah. But I didn't know. Just sort of by sticking but Saurus, Saurus on the end with Saurus. Saurus so, you know, who knows? Put dinosaurs in there. So, you know. Okay, so that was the that was the second round of the game. Sees Tom win it, so it's two one overall. Um, what? Tom I didn't, didn't, I didn't win. It was a draw. Oh, Tom drew. Tom I'm drew. I'm winning. Tom drew. He is winning. One was yeah. He's winning. Two one yeah, overall. Yeah. Um, and that goes into the final section you, of the not so win the answer. Yeah. Nah, it's fine. I don't feel like <laughs> uh, the not so windy show, uh, where we are going to talk about our final Fucking one is beautiful, <laughs> mate. Our final topic is going to be, well, it can be feedback. If you guys have got any feedback for us, if you want us to cover a topic that you've got, it might have a thought around a movie, a TV show, a book, as we spoke about earlier, mm. they do exist. Um, or <laughs> even, some say. Yeah, or even <laughs> games, then let us know and we'll happily discuss it. We'll probably disagree on it, but we'll happily yeah, yeah. discuss it. I mean, there was a violent disagreement, obviously. It violent? It's healthy. It's good to disagree. That's yeah, what I, that's what we. This is what this is what indie credo is about. If, I do think that a lot of people probably watch this and think, Jesus Christ, Dan definitely. and Lewis just don't get on at all. Because I wasn't part of that. Well, I, well, I had a side definitely, yeah. uh, but because <laughs> um, I wasn't involved in the disagreement, it felt it did feel like my parents were arguing. <laughs> it felt like you were having a massive round, and, dad would just and I was like quietly eating dinner. But, like, like, but that's one of the things I like about it. It's really nice to be able to have a row with someone where you can just go. Yeah, and well, then just like, yeah, yeah. Really. God, you never. We're never going to fall out over a fucking movie trailer. Like really? No, we'll fall out about something important like a game. Yeah. <laughs> I could easily see, see you guys falling out over a movie trailer. <laughs> No, no not movie trailer. Trailer. don't talk to each other for a week because he's got so no, that, that would be a game. No, no, <laughs> that's <laughs> me on Smite. That would be that Smite. Would be oh, smite. Yeah. Yeah. Me, me leaving Dan just... Dry on Smite. Oh, sorry, mate, you're dead now. <laughs> you're dead to me. I will speak to you again uh, tomorrow. But, but no, so <laughs> this week we're going to do our final topic. It's going to be um, we're going to choose a, it could be a news story, a release, an announcement, Ooh. a feature, anything that we've seen over the last um, month. And we're going to just talk about what we liked, what we didn't like about it. Like, mm. yeah, cool. You'd I, I think I've, we'd have prepared. I've put down, <laughs> put down favourite announcements, but it could be something you don't like. Just something that just perked an interest in you, mm. positive or negative. Um, do you want me to start? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, well, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I had to juggle this one because okay. there's two I really wanted to call. One's good. One I'm buzzing about. Another one's just pissed me off and annoyed me. Oh, okay. Um. So I'm going to go with the one that pissed me off and annoyed me. But I'm going to just give a nod. Lead, lead in with A the, nod yeah, 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 yeah. to the fact that it's all but confirmed Spyro Trilogy Remaster is coming in oh, the end of the year. Oh, I saw that. Um, rumour. About bloody time. I'm seeing it everywhere. Big rumours. I'm yet to see it. It's going to be a PlayStation confirmed. exclusive for a year. 
big rumours. Well, Good. Um, that's because that's it should be on PlayStation. Yeah, and then a podcast or a name listened to earlier were like, oh, it's never going to say as much as Crash. I'm thinking, uh, are you guys idiots? Spyro, kids now know Spyro because yeah. Skylanders. Like, they they don't see it as a remaster. They see it as a whole new Spyro game. Let, let me just add to that. As someone who has been retro gaming and gaming most of my life, I didn't buy Crash. Because I was like, yeah, Crash was all right. But Spyro... Yeah. Damn right, I'm getting yeah. Spyro. Spyro was um, brilliant. Spyro is one of the first games I played on PlayStation. Yeah, really? yeah. So, and it was so awesome. I it thought was the fact that you yeah. burn the sheep and they turn the butterflies, and <laughs> yes. then your dragonfly eats them. Yeah. I just <laughs> spent so long doing that. That's all I did for hours. Um, was just chase sheep. It's so but satisfying when the, uh, when, when the when the, the dragonfly like, <laughs> on the on the. Uh, yeah, I used to love like it. It's, um, it's all but confirmed, but it feels like it's very true. Like it feels, and you can imagine it's going to be true. Oh, right? It should be. Um, I hope so. So yeah, but like I said, the room about the year. PS4 exclusive is complete rumour. Uh, we don't know. But yeah, so that was my good one. One I want to pick up on a moan about a bit. I've got kind of a yeah. moany one as well. Uh, is oh, I spoke yeah, to you about it yesterday. Yeah. And that is, I'm actually going to moan about another publication site. A lot bigger site Ooh. than us. Oh, uh, shit. Let's get some beef going. Yeah, go. I'm going to moan about IGN. Not IGN. Yeah, IGN. Oh. It's so infallible and Interactive perfect. gaming network. Now, I get that they're... Is that what IGN stands for? Yeah. Oh, literally, that's like... Is that actually it? Yeah, yeah Interactive Gaming Network. No. Um, okay. I, get... I thought it was Idiot's Game Now and <laughs> If then. you watch that back, there's a moment where I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, I get that them being as big as they are, they have to cover... Or they don't have to, but they cover every aspect of gaming. Yeah. But what I really haven't liked is... And I this is coming from a sign who has the app... I probably go on it three or four times a day and I use that as my main source of AAA news because they are normally one of the yeah, quickest ones. Yeah. Um, but this last week they've been so negative on games and I'm just like why are you writing a story like one are you, why are you writing a story about this and two why are you angling the story in such a negative manner like why are you making it sound like the game's bad mm. I don't get that and this comes I spoke to you about this yesterday the first one was with Dragon Ball Fighters, and there's a really good YouTube video. I'm going to give the guy a plug now. He's got a lot more followers than us, anyway. And it's Dato Doya. He does like um, tutorial videos on on Dragon Ball Fighters, but he's got like a seven minute video where he tears to shred this article on IGN mm. that he's got, and it's very it's done in a respectful manner um, in terms of his facts completely out trump theirs. Yeah. So their title was Dragon Ball Fighters loses eighty percent of play of players after first week or something like that which as a stat is true yep. on Steam and this is only on Steam 80% of the players that first brought the game which is 44,000 players has dropped down by 80% it's a fighting game and he goes through the points obviously it's a fighting game the point he really makes I've, I, I've never thought of is the reason people drop a fighting games is because it's such a solo game at first you've only got two things to blame in, in a fighting game you either blame the other person that you're losing against or you blame the game because you never yeah. blame yourself. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then you, when you blame yourself, you walk away from it. And that's why yeah. people drop off fighting yeah. games. But as the stat, and they also go in this article to go and say that um, Tekken, like it's worse than Tekken's drop off. Tekken dropped off rate was slower. But as he says, it is the most most sold fighting game on Steam. And it still has 8,000 players concurring on average on Steam, which is 4,000 more than Tekken. So it's still the most played fighting ever on PC. But IGN didn't point this out in their in their article. It was they've lost this player base. Yeah. Uh, and as well, he it's said, it's trying to be like sensational, isn't it? Well, it's, like, it's like, wow, yeah. this game's well, dropping off so much. Yeah, yeah. and like, you'd think oh, what I would hope was I can understand why they put the title as clickbait. They've got them like they've got to get the ad somehow. Hmm. But then I'd understand if you went into the article and read it and they actually went, It's still the most played game on Steam, it's this, 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 this. Yeah. And it it just doesn't really do that. It just felt like it was just digging and digging and nagging and nagging and nagging. And as the Data Doya guy made a really good point, a lot of people pick that game up purely one for the story because they're Dragon Ball fans and they wanted to play the story. They finished the story because it's only 12 hours. They could do that in a week. I guarantee you, and as he said, when DLC characters release, it's probably going to have more player base than it had now because you're going to have much favoured DC DLC characters of the franchise that people can go back on. And it's just like, I get their stats were right in terms of 80% of players did drop off, but you're just... They're presenting it wrong. I just felt like it was just nagging. And there was another one um, that released, I think it was yesterday it released, um, and that was all about Paragon. Obviously, Paragon's shutting down. And again, I was just like, didn't do this right, didn't do this right, didn't do this right. And I'm like, 
Okay, anyone can see that the game didn't do something right, otherwise it wouldn't be closing down. But let's just look at what it done well. Because I played Paragon for probably 20, 30 hours. Yeah. And I really enjoyed my time of it. Yeah. The reason we didn't play much more of it was because our other friend Luke was always playing Smite. I mean, it was, do we play Paragon together or he's mm. playing Smite? Or do we play Smite with him together? Mm. Well, Smite's um, a better... Was a better game, and yeah. they dumbed it down. As yeah, well. Smite is very much like, um, as I know now from my experience with uh, Dota. Yeah. Smite is very much a uh, still got a steep learning curve, but you can still get into the game. Ten hours, you kind of got a ground concept in the game. Yeah, I think I had about ten hours of Dota, and I was like, I have no yeah. idea what I'm doing here. Smite's um, beginners way into your Dotas and your leagues and that lot, yeah. and Paragon was very much your kindergarten. And then they dumbed it down. Even further. And that was yeah. that was where they went wrong with it, really. With the IGN thing, though, and I was I was thinking about this after we had the chat, do you think part of the reason that they've spent this whole month having a go and being down on things is because everyone now has a go at them for being the channel that gives everyone sevens or eights? No, they because, are, because, no, because, because they're, 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 too incons- they're too inconsistent with it. If yeah. Dragon Ball Fighters was developed by Nintendo, they'd be banging on about it still. The, yeah, so it was a, it's a money thing. So they what they've done is they've gone, look, we are harsh to people, yeah, but, and they pick the companies they know they can be harsh yeah, but, to. Yeah, then, but then choose, be harsh, but in a respectable and justifiable manner. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah, oh no, no, I get yeah. that bit. What I'm trying to say is from a company point of view, from yeah, the, from my gen side, doing. is to try and make people believe in them again because no yeah. one has any faith in no, IGN anymore. No. You don't trust a review from it's IGN. It's a corporate machine. It's, it's like exactly you don't, not a publication. You don't see much yeah. of, and I know there's a couple of there's a couple of individuals that I because I listen to their podcast. A couple of individuals on their podcast have spoke about how janky PUBG is on Xbox. Yeah. But they still they don't give it hardly any shit compared to like for being a game that you can go into game. We saw in game yesterday. You can yeah. buy it, a physical copy of it. You can go home. You can pull it in and play a game that is half broken. Yeah. There's not much shit on their website about that, but they will jump on stuff that is trying to work, and it is like Dragon Ball. Yeah, it, it needs a couple of tweaks here and there, but it's a fighting game. And you look, look at um, Street Fighter when that launched. Oh my yeah. god, that was a shell of a game. Like, and there's so much missing in that. And look at it now; it is the Street Fighter that everyone wanted. Um, and I just, I, which is why I'm saying what I think I see, might yeah, be yeah. is that IGN are trying to show that they can be critical, yeah. but they're choosing their targets, yeah. yeah, and they're just being dicks, mate. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but so yeah. And I'm, not doing it well. There's so no, much, yeah. but it seems there's like so much. Crap. I think they're just trying yeah. to do things well. Don't need to anymore. No, no. They're no. so big. Money just flows in. <laughs> it's like there's no real effort needed. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But no, it was, that was, it was like the um, the Kingdoms game you were talking about. I mean, and and Kingdom good part, yeah. Was that they were going to wait yeah, until so they've done I, it, and so that's a nice thing. Certain, and, and this is for anyone out there who watches, reads reviews. You're hopefully the more you do it, watch and read them, you'll get your own people that you respect. Yeah. And there's certain people now that IGN that, regardless of the branding of IGN, I still respect them as a gamer and as an individual, mm. and I respect their views. And they're normally sitting on me. Uh, and the guy reviewing Kingdom Come Deliverance basically said that my review won't be out until Friday because we didn't get the games for Friday and. It's a 50-hour game. I'm only going to give this game a score and a review when I have seen everything I can on it. So a lot of the reviews that were on um, YouTube on Tuesday when it launched, somehow they managed to finish a 50-hour game really? plus all yeah. the side quests yeah. in four days, which is basically they didn't manage to do it. Yeah. 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 So, I can, so I respect that from them going, actually, we need to give the just five. Yeah. I can imagine IGN probably... And other company that they're so strict on you can only review a game when you finished it like you, as a reviewer it's your job to finish that game I can imagine them being like that whereas other smaller sites don't have that um, uh, jurisdiction or that makes, like, they don't have that hierarchy coming down saying this, they just go I've played three hours I know what the game's like how many reviews have we read that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're like that, really? like the mechanics they're talking about were there in the first two hours and then eight hours into the game you're like Oh my god, they've not played the game. Like yeah. we, so many yeah. reviews we yeah. read, and we're like, and it's incredible. It's still we, well, I do, and I know you do as well. I think you have the past, yeah. I've always finished games. Like, game I'm only, it. The only time I haven't actually was, um, what game was it? What game was it? What game was it? Oh, it was Yonder. 
because you like to finish what it. What were you gonna do? Because to finish yeah. it, you had to go find all the cats, and it wasn't gonna change anything. So like, <laughs> you just I'd, have a shitload of cats. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> I don't. I think I had like twelve hours in the game, which in that game is more than enough to go. I kind of know how this works yeah. now. Mm. Um, but yeah, so mine's down one. But come if you want honest, good honest stuff, and we do do talk shit about games, but we do it in a respectable, justifiable manner. We don't like saying. We say why we don't like it. Don't just go. Don't go now. Unless it's a walking to. Go on, Tom. <laughs> Tell me one art feature, article, announcement. Yeah, uh, I know we put favourite on the thing, but that's not something I'm. Mean, oh my god! god. This is the we're gonna have to think of something. The complaining cast, yeah. yeah. Doom okay. and gloom. Uh, it's the announcement that there will be yet another Star Wars trilogy. Uh, not the Ryan Johnson trilogy. Another one. <gasps> Sorry, Go I was quite excited. So, can you see? Can you read that quickly? Oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Can't say that, I'm afraid. Yeah, but yeah, we'll carry on. Uh, but yeah, so obviously you've got, so yeah, we've got obviously the base trilogy. We've got the spin-offs with Rogue One, Solo, and whatever's coming next. Yeah, it's got the Fett one, yeah, isn't it? Not doing that either. Um, and now we've got the Ryan Johnson trilogy. After he did Last Jedi, they said, "Oh yeah, we're gonna do. He's gonna do his own trilogy. It's gonna be nothing we've ever seen before, whatever." And now they're saying they're getting the writers. Uh, of Game of Thrones yes to do another trilogy, trilogy. Yeah. yeah it's too much Star Wars it's but that's too why much. Disney bought it I know we knew this was going to happen they think they can do with Star Wars what they've done with Marvel and they can't no because it's the reason Star Wars is I think remembered so fondly is because it was so special yeah there was three films at first yeah and then there was another three which people didn't like <laughs> uh, <laughs> and now there's just going to be a fuck ton of Star Wars films dumped on us every year it's yeah. going to get to the point where we're getting three Star Wars films a year oh yeah so it's like the Assassin's Creed thing is it when Assassin's Creed first came out it sold so many copies the first three years yeah. I mean granted the third one in, in this franchise was fucking awful um, the, one, yeah, the American was... Civil War oh you mean three the actual okay, yeah. three yeah, yeah. sorry yeah. that was um, that was I think when people were like I'm a bit burnt out now yeah. I know Black Flag done well but I think Black Flag would have done so much better if it had a like um, Origins had a gap and then yeah. and Origins done so well one, because it was an incredible game, because they had time to go, well, actually, do you know what? All that old assets we're going to just kind of go away with. Because we've got an extra year now with a studio, fuck knows how big their studio is, exactly. yeah. to make it. And they've already come out and said there won't be an Assassin's Creed game this year. Like we're, we're Excellent, focused, yeah. We're focusing on Origins and we're going to keep putting our content on Origins. Mm. There will be another Assassin's Creed game, but there won't be one this year. And that's, like you said... It's correct way to do it. Yeah. We, we burn out on Assassin's Creed. That's the only franchise I can think it was, of. It was every was year, and then it was like two a year. And it's it was, yeah. burn out. Like, it was just, yeah. It was too much. And, it, and that's and where we're going with Star Wars. People yeah. always say, oh, they're ruining Star Wars. Babies always say that. But like, I, this, this is ruining Star Wars. Yeah. If you have too many Star Wars films, they're no longer held in such no. high regard, are they? Because Solo isn't going to be good, I think. No. You know, Last Jedi has got a lot of criticism. I think Apart from Danny Glover and Mel Gibson in it, obviously. And you, they're going to be yeah, great. And obviously. you end up doing, you might correct me if I'm wrong here, because I've not seen the final part of Discovery, but you might end up doing what you argued about Discovery, was when you offer so much content, you struggle to come up with original ideas, that you end up jeopardising the source material yeah. with your content. Like, I think so. Because you were arguing that Discovery was treading... Very, yeah, 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 it's far too close to the original yeah, series. It was, it was, it's, it's so different from the original series, it was, but also so close to it. Because for, for me, watching Discovery, I wouldn't have a fucking clue. Well, which is fair and enough. most and people I can see why they've done what they've done. And most people yeah. watching Star Wars, say in 10 years' time, if it changes something that happened in episode four, wouldn't have a clue it changed something. But with Star Wars being the fucking juggernaut it is and yeah. having probably the most aggressive fans in the world oh, around yeah. it, mm-hmm. they will know when something's wrong and they will fucking be blown up and Definitely. they do release all this stuff how are you going to keep the the original and nuances of the source material with so much content I don't think you can it's, yeah but I've, I just wish they would just leave it alone mm. I wish it, I wish I was fine Money. exactly yeah it was, oh, the cut off yeah. point for me was the, the new trilogy that you know the episodes the actual yeah, yeah, trilogy yeah. Well, and a couple of yeah. yeah that was I was like okay I can see that Rogue yeah. One I, I really like Rogue One some people don't like it. Again, that's another yeah, one. Yeah, I, well, I wasn't that, huge about people it. People are divided on that yeah. as well, is a thing. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, you've got like, the ending, at least. Everyone likes the ending. No. no. Darth Vader? You that, uh, know? Oh, yeah, yeah. The I'm last talking, scene. I'm talking about Darth Vader. The last scene. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah sorry. Not when scene. they're sitting and the wave comes in and no, 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 just no, there. Oh, Jesus. That's, that's like, yeah, fine. 
Um, but yeah, I was fine with that. And then now it's like, it's just well, they're all down. a Star Wars story, aren't they? Solo, a Star Wars I, story. I Rogue think, One, a Star I think Wars the story. Problem was I have with it all is that you've got a universe of a universe here. You've got a full universe, and yeah. everything they're doing is it's Solo. It's Boba Fett. Yeah, exactly. It's Leia. Exactly. Why, why aren't we talking about the other people? I think that's why Rogue One... Sand people. I want a Sand people movie. <laughs> With I the mean, Bantha just going like across. Bantha racing. Culture. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they do. Yes, the comic... Um, the art... No, sorry, the C-3PO comic uh, about how he got red, his red arm. Yeah. Oh, that was awful. I liked it. I, Did I, you really? I, I, yeah. I know, I know the story of it. I liked oh. it. I've got like a, a... Not a movie, but like... What I'd like that is I'd like an animated movie in that of of one. Okay. See, I liked that. Well, I like that Spider Man one they keep talking about. Have you seen the um the one yeah, from yeah, Spider Man? Yeah, yeah, Spider Verse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks so, so good. That. Have you seen Ninja Batman? They got announced. <laughs> yes, that I is saw so that, yeah. weird. No, it does. <laughs> Ninja Batman. It's like yeah. proper anime Batman. Yeah. Ninja. Yeah. but um, yeah, the the Spider Man in, into the Spider Verse looks that looks looked really amazing. good. I, so I, yeah, that, they did that with Star Wars. So excited for that. And you just went to the world out of it. You can do stuff in different. Media. That's what people like. Doesn't I have think. to be films every time. And the issue. That's what so many people I think were down on um, Rogue One about. Although Rogue One was always going to link into between um, Episode Four and uh, Episode Three and Four. Three yeah. and Four. Yeah. I think people were down on the fact that it ended up going into a Skywalker storyline. Like, does it? Well, in terms of Darth Vader comes up and things like that. Like, well, he's I, there. Yeah, I mean, but I think people wanted to be. Like a complete separate entity. Like a, yeah. it happens. We know that's going on over there. We know what's yeah. going on well, here. It doesn't we have want, to have these other people. I, in it. I agree. It doesn't always have I mean, to, layer, have to be. Is, like, is it layer pop up at the layer, end? Yeah. yeah, like it doesn't always have to be like. Oh, see, we're, we're we're close to the original trilogy. Oh, remember this from the original trilogy? You know, they they can do their own thing, and I'll be fine with that. But, you don't need to do fan service in that way because yeah, because you, you just have to put the vessels. I mean, in you know, it, and you know, it's Star Wars. All of You've this got, is all sticking to the original trilogy stuff yeah it's never going not touching the prequels well no and we're not seasons but I will say actually I do hope they give uh, Ewan McGregor his own movie that is the only um, Obi-Wan yeah Obi-Wan that is the only one you mean like a train spot and Star Wars crossover that'd be fucking brilliant there's a baby on the ceiling spot in Star Wars that'd be great is it train spot in two by the way yes I haven't Oh, it's, it's good. It's I not liked as good it. As the first one, but it, I liked it's it. It's still really enjoyable. What I loved about it most was, and it's nothing to do with the way it's filmed, but how it, the natural timeline fit. It feels like. So, it, as in, yeah, it definitely feels like it's the same Because they are so actually. Because yeah. it's yeah. years later, is yeah. it? Yeah. 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 No, I keep meaning to see it, but I haven't watched it. Yeah, it's, it's not as. Thing, yeah. I don't think it's. Uh, it's not as impactful as. No, because well, the first one was a yeah, cult movie, wasn't it? The first one was do what you want with it, really. And this one had more of an audience around it. It just feels like a cool. It feels like you're catching up with them. Yeah, yeah. that's what it is. Well, hanging out with mates. Train yeah, spotting yeah. was yeah. very much a look at that moment in oh time. God. Jesus, there's, fucking there's hell. a snapshot well, of, there's of, like, of Scott Howard in the nineties. There's it? five yeah. or well, six. Pretty much yeah. the, the United Kingdom oh, in the nineties. Yeah. There's five or six moments in that film where you're just like, oh my god, they went there. Like they actually went train that far. There's, there's one bit in train spotting where they're having a drink up on top of the balcony, and the guy throws his glass over the edge. And I remember yeah. being in a bar and a guy doing that. Yeah, we just like and just like, what the fuck is going on with this world? But just there was a moment there. See, I, wait, thought, I watched it quite recently actually, because um, Sarah had never seen it. And then we went for a little stage. of Sarah's like, "Can you show me a film that I've not seen?" As like an educational thing, a yeah. film that I should have seen. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen. And I was like, "I think you really, really like it." I was like, "It's horrible to watch at times, but it's, That's it's good." Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. And I. I've not seen it for ages going into that. And I, in my head, I always thought the baby dies really close to the end. I it's like right at the beginning. It's right at the beginning. That's not one of the things that gets... Um, yeah. But I don't know, in my what head... His name? What's the character name? Um, Ruh something, Ruh. Uh, but in my head, my uh, my mind had put it... Renton. Yes. Yeah. yeah in my mind, my head had put that at the back of the film. And when it happened, I was so like... horrible. I was <laughs> like, oh shit, that's really... Yeah. And that's like, like the thing that gets Sarah's like, this is horrible. I don't want to watch any more of this. I'm like... Just watch it. Yeah, yeah, you've you got to stick with this because bloody hell. Mm. We should watch the new one. It's, it's definitely. I do keep meaning to, but it's yeah. one of those ones that it's like on your list. I've got of four films to watch. To watch. Mm. I really? finally got it to watch. I'm gonna. I might watch it tonight. You should. You should. It's good. Yeah. I'm gonna watch it with Sarah. She wants to watch that. Yeah, she'll like it. Yeah. My mom loves it. I can't wait. It's apparently so eighties. It, yeah, oh, yeah, and it's so Australian. 
It is so Australian. Australian. Go on then, Dan. Do you want to close this out, mate? With your let's close this with something happy. You guys, Jesus. Oh, yeah. well, been you two have both been really What's down. Here? We've been we've you, been really down. He's so taken I over feel, our souls. Yeah. I feel happened? like yeah. I should, he's, he's sucking out as our joy. So as I said, as I said, I will crush you and then he mold you <laughs> in my image. Um, <laughs> I really don't fucking know. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think of something so nice. that, that this month has been. I've sat there and gone, you know what, that is fucking great. Do you know what would have made this month amazing? Go on. If they announced they're remaking Critters. No, no, no. I would have tried critters. at that point. <laughs> the Critters. Oh, that really rings a bell. <sighs> or Ghoulies. That would have been that. funny as well. Critters are these little critters, black balls that roll around movie. and they shoot yeah. it. Funny, oh, it's it? so it's bad. Stupid. It's good. Yeah. It's one of those those movies. Yeah. I'm trying to think, what has happened this month where you, I've then stood there and gone, you know what? Fucking yes, bring it. Uh, we went. To, we haven't even mentioned it yet. Uh, oh. Press start to play. Oh yeah, we did. We could, oh, oh my yeah, shit. We that did is so we bad. Should have mentioned it. Yeah, we were so busy with oh, stuff. Nice. It has been <laughs> such we, a manic week. We even I said am to so the guys, so we're like, oh yeah, we'll talk about it on the podcast. Yeah. And, 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 and <laughs> he's going to probably what? Listen now, hour and twenty minutes. Be like, well, that was shit. <laughs> Oh. It's been a mad week because it's just yeah, yeah it's been so busy. much going. We but are we, so sorry. We went to <laughs> press start to play in Burgess Hill, yes. which is a little gaming convention. Oh my god! Now I'm thinking of all the great things that happened. Yeah. So me and Tom, we we're in a Soul Caliber tournament. That's right, we were. And, oh my god! I, you creamed me. We, 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 we decided did. to sign up because we can't play fighting games. Yeah. No, no we good. It'd be all. funny for everyone to watch us and they had in a tournament. Sticks and everything. They had fighting yeah, sticks. Like a lot of so me and Tom played. Tom beat. Me. It was a good game. Yeah, but I somehow beat him. Yeah, I, I, had to, to be, I didn't even know who the character I was. <laughs> yeah, for ages. Like, you thought he was like, I thought, thought I was. <laughs> Oh. Like, why, why, why am I getting beat so bad? <laughs> no, no. Why was I getting beat That's what I'm so saying. bad? He's, he's literally, he literally I lost me. the first round. I thought I lost the first round, <laughs> and, no, I, and I was won. like, "Oh, I can't, damn it, I lost." But then, then you were also like, "Ah," and I was like. Wait, what? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's even better than that? So he beat me because we both suck at it. And, and then, then we realised I'd have to continue playing. <laughs> we, we hadn't thought about even, when we, we signed up. Far, but suddenly I was in the semi-finals <laughs> of this Against a tournament. seven-year-old yes. at the most. This young boy by the name of Charlie. <laughs> he was about the same size as your thigh. There is a picture on Twitter. Yes, yeah, um, yeah. Not of the kid, because that would be inappropriate. Just the back no. of the kid. But yeah, 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 yeah. You can see the size different. It's you can like, see the it's silhouette. Like, yeah. And he thrashed Tommy, perfected him he on the first round. Me. I Absolutely didn't get a single hit in. Yeah. He just shook my oh. hand. <laughs> and it was just brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Even better than that, we then had Lewis, oh, who was God. like, all right, boys, you know, like Lewis is. I'm like, going to win oh, this. Oh, oh, I'm going to be best. I'm so good. And you got, yeah, look, he's showing that's you the trophy. That's not from press start to join. No, that's from a professional got trounced well he got on. are you talking shit about press start to join now no you're like, yeah. that's a professional tournament he got trounced he lost and it wasn't just like a, a little loss it was a big loss we, we were like that, we were like that can't be Lewis we there, couldn't figure out which one yeah he's, he's not even going around the corners and we spent we overestimated how good he'd be we spent some time going okay what's his excuse going to be we both thought yeah. it was because it was on the Wii and he couldn't yeah, use a Wii so controller we and he came that. back and what was your excuse so they fucking put it on 50cc <laughs> The easiest mode. Yeah. You can't beat people on easy. He even shouted like, at a child, apparently. A child was like, it's easy on 50cc. And he was like, it's not you, dickhead. <laughs> so, not without banging on that age loads, I've, everything I do on, on Mario Kart, if I just jump in for fun, I play 100cc. Because, and then the time, it's all about the drift around the corner. 50cc, yep. you, don't, wasn't doing. you basically don't need to drift on the corners because there's no point. You're actually going slower around the corners than just driving in a straight line. Because the, And so it took me a while to kind of get, I'm so used to drifting on a, yeah, I'm not making excuse. First two you races, you are making excuses. So it was beautiful. It. First two races, I were moment. awful. The next two races, I come like third and second, but it wasn't enough. I couldn't claw my way back. But yeah, yeah and he ended well behind all the if others. You're ever gonna and host a Mario Kart tournament? Yeah, tournament. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're yeah. ever gonna host a Mario Kart tournament, don't do 50 cc. Be don't be a dick. <laughs> don't do 50 cc but it was hilarious but the other good bits was we we got to play some retro games oh, Tom so. actually got to go on some yeah, old some machines stuff that you've never, never seen, seen before in real life. Yeah, like, um, and then we went us, upstairs it, Tom went what's a reset button did you really? No. Not. <laughs> Sorry well, I, I missed that PS1. bit I, thought, I wasn't there for the whole thing <laughs> what's it got two buttons for? <laughs> two buttons my we goodness. went upstairs they though. Two parts. And we got to play a couple of games that were pretty damn good. A couple of indie games yes, that turned did, up. Yeah. Um, we played. Pass that thing over there. It's just behind Gizmo. This, oh, this one. 
Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, like Balance we, of Kingdoms. Maybe we should tack this on to the Indie Incredible podcast. Indie Incredible one is yeah. Balance of Kingdoms, um, which was by uh, Watson Studios. And they've actually sent me a build now so we can play it. Oh, I think next week, because uh, we've only got one podcast to record, yeah. we're going to play Trev's game. And we're oh, gonna, yes, I'm and looking we're forward to play, that. we're going to play Balance Kingdoms as well. Right, nice. That's our preview we've got. Uh, I didn't play this. You guys played <laughs> Tomb of Rune. Oh my god, we had so much fun Idle with that. Creations. That was good, yeah. Idle Creations. But I didn't, we I... found out very quickly that you could either use chalk on the wall to yeah, draw, stuff, draw stuff, or you could burn the place down. So basically, all we did was, was <laughs> set fire to these beautiful tapestries yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and draw shit on the walls. I was in the middle of writing <laughs> Tom was ear 18. I was just finishing off that 18 and the game crashed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, we crashed beautiful. the game. So, and then we saw like two two kids play it later on, doing much better than we <laughs> ever did. One of them had a shotgun. Where did it, where, I was too busy burning tapestries. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like I, I thought it was in Indiana Jones, and I was like, quite, let's burn this. It's also quite funny, just like the way like you could go into first person mode to look around, and like I'd look over at <laughs> Dan's character, and you just see my character in the game just being like, <laughs> yeah, and there's just something really funny about that. <laughs> And had really good fun with that. So they're they're back in October. Yep. There's another in piece, little, little, a smaller one over smaller there. Smaller one. Get the there smaller one from over here. <laughs> and we've got an even go. smaller 27th one. 27th of October. They're back. Yeah, yeah um, for a bigger event. So yeah, yeah. which is it, a church. The King's Centre on Victoria Industrial Estate in Burgess Hill. So hopefully we'll be at that one again. It all so, depends yeah. what's happening in October. Because um, yeah, it was really good. It's fun. just nice yeah, seeing like fun. a local gaming event having like it was genuinely a community for the whole family you had kids there you had yeah, it was packed with and, you, yeah, yeah, and you yeah, had yeah. like what was nice to see there and this might be being a bit smishy or whatever but seeing like dads playing kids right. on games that the dads were probably playing when they were kids well, yeah, probably going yeah, yeah. You know, Charlie, this is what I played it was, it was like me and Tom playing games yeah. together yeah. <laughs> well, I was like this is really fun dad <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> it's alright son <laughs> when, I, when I was beat by Tom by Charlie yeah. he said to me I, I, I trained with my dad. Yeah. Oh, and then his, his dad, his dad was watching the whole time. And then we his dad like have a towel over his shoulder. Good work, son. Oh, good work, son. Hit the one in the he, middle. He even apologised to me afterwards. He was like, I'm sorry. And I was like, no, it's dad, fine. Like, nice to meet you. Have a trainer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was like, is your son? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> After each round, he's spitting in the bucket. <laughs> oh, mate. Come on, you got this. You got this. Yeah. In his mouth. You're doing good, boy. <laughs> Oh. Uh, yeah, no, it's good event, good event. Good event, had good fun. Place really good reasonable games. as well. If you book beforehand, six quid to get in. Yeah. Um, and you genuinely could spend all day there. They had well, we a very... Did, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't pretty much. They had a quite a few... Most of the competitions evolved around more modern games. They had like a it Rocket League, FIFA, they had FIFA. Rocket League. Well, Soul um, was... How old Soul was that? was Dreamcast. But that was only because I was speaking to him. They wanted to have Street Fighter V on the PS4. But they were worried that people wouldn't... It, Too hard. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, Soul Cow, they said it was a really nice game to kind of... If you button bash, you button so you bash still it. But, it. But it was yeah. cool to play some... Just, just play I mean, some they had games. some really old even, stuff. Even just like... Not even what that was, I played Commando on what was ZX Spectrum. Yeah, you were on the ZX I'm Spectrum like, Plus 2. How do I was a... start? I was pressing every button on my joystick <laughs> and it says press S. And I'm Can't like... I just say? I was looking at my joystick for S. I was like, there's <laughs> a fucking keyboard. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Such a new there It was beautiful. Far too many buttons on older controllers. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I would just pull up like was it the, the was it the Philips Oh yeah, uh, we had CDI it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that had like eight eight hundred buttons on the controller. <laughs> and I was like, Whoa, where do I go? What do I, how do I start the game? It was just there was so many times we'd sit in an old machine and go, So what the Shit Literally yeah. like, where do you even start? Like, and it's not like you have these days, it's always an A or an X is yeah. your select. But it's oh, like, no, yeah. oh, oh, good. There's a, a R7. G button for some reason. <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> nothing at all. That's it's the just half the buttons did didn't nothing. do anything. They yeah. were there for no reason. Why don't I see the point in here? Yeah, but they had them all the way right. from like the early 80s stuff for your Spectrums. And yeah. they had a... Was the other one? Uh, the they had the Commodore sixty four mm, and the Atari twenty six hundred there. Yeah, the Atari twenty six hundred all the way to your your SNES, you had your Mega Drive as well. Like, I didn't see yeah. CDI. I didn't even. I really... didn't see a Virtual Boy. No, <laughs> no. How much are they worth? <laughs> <laughs> not not well. It's nothing. But they everyone would be having fits rare? on the floor because of the red lights burning <laughs> into their eyes. But I, I had the most fun actually, to be honest, playing that that little car racing game on the Xbox. Oh my god! Yes. Oh yeah, the Duke controllers. That was a really fun. Yeah, the Duke, which are great now that I'm an adult. 
Yeah. yeah. They're brilliant, aren't they? Like, I had one as a kid the and they, it was the worst. It was, it was impossible to use. I was like, okay. I was just like, <laughs> trying to use it like that. But yeah, it's a great controller, actually. Yeah, I actually want to get myself a, a I'm OG Xbox. I'm glad it's back, yeah. Sort it's, of, you know, uh, get hold of that again. But that game, I don't know what it was, but it was... It's, it, it was, was just, just like, like micro machines, machines yeah. yeah. But it was really good fun, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> it was good. I didn't win a single race, but it, I still had a really fun <laughs> yeah. playing that game. I want to find out what it was and get it. It was good. So no, there you go. There'll, there'll be a link, to say there'll be a link in the comments it. below to press start to play um, their website. Uh, they do like um, game parties and things like that. Press start to join. Shit, we've got the wrong one. Press start to join. Um, although I was disappointed to see on their fly they had rock band. They didn't have rock band there. No, um, yeah. I would have quite happily gone on. That would have been hilarious. We could have done a three band. of us. Oh. Um, but no, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Maybe and if you're yeah. if you're, I'd say anywhere up to like South London, Brighton area, then it's probably like an hour's drive for you. But it's worth it. It's really reasonable to get in. Uh, and if you've got kids, especially, there's so much for there for them to do. And it's a nice community that if your kid was to kind of there's a bar where you can drink and the kids can just go off and play the games and yeah they're really friendly I found out halfway there was beers and I was like yeah. oh damn it I could have been drinking this whole time <laughs> um, but yeah no do check it out at the website below um, and if you are local to the area then come and say hi to us because we're we'll be there. pretty much guaranteed going to be at the next one uh, because I need to claim I'm going to email them so they get a Dragon Ball Fighters tournament <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll play it like dumb. So you can destroy like, I'll be like, Charlie. I'll be like, yeah, I've heard, I've heard yeah, his dad's going to train There's this, yeah. game. <laughs> There's this fighting game, Dragon Ball Fighters. Apparently, it's really like accessible. It's really cool, apparently. Like, maybe you should rec- think about putting that on there. Yeah, you could be like, oh, Dragon Ball. You know, everyone knows Dragon Ball. It's, yeah. it's through the ages. Everyone Some kid Dragon called Ball. Goku or something. I don't yeah, know much about Go- it. Goka yeah. or something. <laughs> <laughs> if I could turn up and be like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> be real Mario Kart, mate. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Threatening violence on a yeah. child. Yeah. <laughs> so right. come to the friendly uh, event. Yeah. Uh, press start to join. <laughs> Family event. It's great. Meet the uh, incredible team and uh, <laughs> then have Lewis beat the shit out of your child. It'll be classic, um, classic verse. No, it was, uh, it was <laughs> a lot of fun. And today was a lot of fun as well. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. As <laughs> yeah. I said before. <laughs> nice out. Well you, can, um, you can find us on Player <laughs> FM, on SoundCloud, on iTunes, all through audio. Um, e- uh, if you really do like what we do, or if you if you want to see us grow more, then um, yeah, oh yeah, take that as you will. Then uh, <laughs> leave us a comment on iTunes. You, I, I say this every week, but you won't believe one comment on iTunes bumps us up the rankings so much and gets people to actually see us. The the podcast episodes that we've had comments on have genuinely ended up having like fifteen times more listens than our other podcasts, and that meant that we've had some people subscribe and we've grown and grown and grown. That's what we want to do. This is not an indie game podcast, but then we that's our main aim is to bring attention to the indie game market. This is a podcast where we get together. As you found out earlier, we disagree about a lot of things, but yeah. we also agree about a lot of things. It's a bit of a sh- chat shit um, podcast, isn't it? Basically, it is, yeah. yeah. I still haven't quite figured out what this yeah. podcast is. We'll, no. we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. Evolve. All you need to know is the not so indie podcast. Yeah. <laughs> hey. uh, yeah, so this is available to patrons early on patreon.com forward slash indiecredible. Three dollars gets you video, one dollar gets you the audio, you get a whole week early access, and also you get a comp- if you can't get it in a week, fine, you don't get any ads whatsoever on your podcast. Um if you watch it on Patreon, there will never be an ad, ever. Unless we're flogging our own shit. Yeah, because what, what, yeah, well, was well, this an ad? I'm like, well, that was my ad. <laughs> that's fine. We're our own ads. Our own we will ad. advertise our own uh, stuff. Anyway, so thank you for joining us, guys. And until next month and the next Lewis's Extraordinary, Extraordinary Quiz <laughs> hey! Show. Peace out. <laughs>